crucial element of managing a very successful campaign is also working with a dynamic global block list or do not contact list. Smartly's got a very dynamic approach to go ahead and help you do this in a reactive way that will make sure you get the best bang of every campaign that you release. And especially if you're managing multiple clients within the platform, it will work honestly really well for you. So one thing you need to note is Smartly will automatically detect any mails that have bounced and add them to the DNC list. So you don't need to do anything for that it's automatically handled. Other than that, you can also go ahead and add an individual domain or an email address. If you add an email address, it will block just that email address. If you add that domain, it will block that whole domain for you without you having to worry about a single thing. Now, here's the other extremely important and really cool part. Let's say you are uh, serving two clients right now, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, as an example. If you're serving Coca-Cola and you've reached out to apple.com and Apple are not interested in Coca-Cola, that does not mean if you go and add apple.com over here, for example, it will go ahead and block maybe Pepsi wanting to reach out to them because that's not fair to Pepsi. So the way you want to do that is when you add apple.com, you want to block it, but restrict it to just one client. And just assuming that the client over here is maybe, you know, uh, this one is is for example, say Coca-Cola, then this will block only apple.com for Coca-Cola. So any client of yours that you're serving that is specific to Ashley Tomorrow or Coca-Cola will not receive or will not allow any apple.com messages or apple.com leads to be added in retrospective to when you're creating a campaign unless you force push it. The other advantage is adding this in between a campaign also is great because the, sm the system is smart enough to automatically remove any leads that are in active campaigns that contain a particular um, a DNC email address. The other piece of the puzzle over here is you don't want to add them one by one. So you can actually go ahead and click on import CSV. And when you drag and drop that CSV, you just need to go ahead and map the field that is the email or domain that you're trying to block. And again, you can go ahead and block that with respective to a client as well. And like I said over here, any existing campaign containing that lead will also be blocked, which is a fantastic and powerful experience for you. Now, not only this, but you can actually go ahead and filter your leads based upon the client name, for example, and then you can go ahead and delete that entire CSV if you want to, uh, to manage this in a very systemic and easy way. Last thing to mention to you with the global block list is you can go ahead and automate this entire experience with a completely extensive and open API to add and remove DNC based leads or domains reactively and proactively to maintain a clean and concise global block list that will help make sure that you're following all the rules that you need to follow, but also ensure that you're getting the maximum out of your lead list that you've uploaded. So I hope you enjoy this and all the best. See you in the other videos.